Uh, question number seven. Simplify four plus two y into bracket squared minus into bracket two y minus four squared. Uh, so you are taught how to expand factors. Uh, so what you do here is uh, four plus two y uh, into bracket four plus uh, plus two y minus uh, two y minus four uh, into bracket two y minus four. Close the bracket. Uh, so that is the meaning of square there. So you multiply 4 times 4 that will give you 16 4 times 2y uh, That will give you you can combine but let's just say 8y uh, uh, 2 times uh, 4 y, 4 is uh, 8y plus 8y then you have plus uh, 2y that is uh, that 2, uh, 2y times 2y that should give you 4y squared a minus and put the bracket there uh, put the bracket there 2y uh, 2y times 2y that will give you 4y squared uh, uh, this is 2y multiplied by 4 uh, that will be minus 8y uh, this is minus 8y and finally we have plus 16 so it is very important for these brackets are very important so because when you open this bracket here uh, the 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 the, the, the these signs will change the ones that are negative will become negative the ones which are positive will become minus so we say uh, 16 8y that will give us plus 8y that is 16y plus 4y squared so when you open the bracket 4y squared will be minus 4y squared 8 8 plus minus 8 plus minus 8 that is minus 16 uh, minus 16 you open the bracket minus and minus changes to positive so that's 16 y uh, minus sigma plus 16 becomes minus 16 uh, so what do you do here is 16 minus 16 that will go uh, then we have uh, 4y squared and 4y squared minus that will go so it means you end up with uh, you end up with 16y plus 16y that should give you 32y so that is uh, the answer to that uh, so the step that is very important is this one when you are opening the bracket uh, this sign here uh, because it you uh, it will make the, the the values inside the bracket to change the signs to change if it is uh, positive for example here it is positive 4 you can see it changed it has changed negative uh, 4y squared as a, a minus 8 and minus 8 we have gotten it is plus 6 uh, minus 16y so minus and minus changes to positive 16 is positive so once um, 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 hmm, negative and positive positive changes to negative uh, when you multiply so that's a, this is this minus actually it is like minus one we have one here so when you have minus one times positive four y that's why we get minus one times uh, six positive 16 you get minus 16 so by doing that you get two marks question number eight a table is sold at 4500 kenyan shillings and a chair at 2000 kenyan shillings a salesman earns a commission of eight percent on every table and five percent on every chair sold on a certain week he sold three more chairs than tables and his total earnings were 3980 uh, so determine the number of chairs he sold that week uh, you can be able to do that you need uh, okay you need to assign one item to be x so we can say uh, let number of tables uh, be x so because that week he earned 3980 uh, it means that uh, on the number of tables uh, x uh, he sold he sold three more chairs so x that is uh, you take x multiply by 
four thousand number of uh, tables multiplied by the cost of one table is four thousand five hundred Kenyan shillings. Uh, you get uh, it was getting zero point zero eight. That is the same as eight percent. Eight percent. Then you add number of chairs. Uh, he sold three more chairs than tables, so it means x plus three, uh, and you multiply by two thousand, and uh, uh, that is two thousand, and he was getting uh, five percent. So that is five percent is the same as uh, zero point zero five, as the same as or five over hundred, which will still give you the same. Uh, he earned after selling this he earned 3980 so it is upon you now for you to get the uh, to get the to work to get the value of x so 4500 you multiply by 0 0.8 you use this calculator here the scientific calculator recommended so you say it is uh, 4500 uh, 4500 you multiply by 0 0.08 and that should give you 360 uh, so 360 uh, here we have 360 X uh, plus uh, you multiply 2000 multiply by that is a uh, 2000 you multiply by 0 0.05 and that should give you a hundred so a hundred the whole of this gives you a hundred uh, so 100 multiplied by x that will give you 100x uh, plus 300 is equals to uh, 3980 so you will put the right terms together you have this this is 460 uh, x 100 plus 360 x uh, you take 300 to the other side it becomes minus so uh, you say this is uh, 3980 minus 300 that should give you that 680 that is 680 uh, then uh, you divide by 10 uh, then you say x is equals to uh, 40, uh, 368 divided by 46 is equals to so uh, you say when you divide uh, that is uh, 368 uh, you divide by 46 and that should give you 8 is equals to 8 remember we had said that uh, x represent the number of tables and we need to determine the number of chairs uh, so the the, the the salesman had sold three more chairs than tables uh, so we say chairs or you can say number of chairs is equals to 8 plus 3 and that should give 11 chairs so that week uh, the salesman sold 11 chairs and that is how you get uh, that is how you get the answer to this question uh, where you should be able to score the three marks question number nine translation t maps a into bracket minus six two onto a prime three five determine the translation vector t uh, then we have part b a point p prime minus 4 2 is an image of p under t translation t determine the coordinates of p so translation uh, we can say if this is a point a it is translated to point a prime translation you get the number of steps you got along the the, the x-axis and the number of steps you move to 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 the y-axis so that is what uh, so we can say t is represented by the number of steps that you move along the x-axis and the number of steps that you move along the y-axis to get to the new point uh, so if we take this is uh, the starting point or the, the, the that is uh, the origin of the x y axis we can say uh, t is equals to uh, o a uh, minus o a o a prime minus o a and since we have been given the coordinates of a uh, we say 
OA you just write it in uh, vertical form uh, or in column form OA is the same as minus that is uh, OA is a OA plane is the same as 3 uh, 5 and uh, you minus OA is a minus 6 2 all right that will give you uh, 3 minus minus 6 that will be 3 plus 6 and that will give you 9 uh, 5 minus 2 is 3 uh, meaning uh, t is equals to 9 step you move 9 step to the positive side of the of the x axis and 3 units along the y axis so 9 3 uh, so you get one mark a point p plane minus 4 2 is the image of p under translation uh, t determining the coordinates of p as uh, we have said uh, translation is equals to then it is op prime uh, mine uh, that is uh, that is my that is uh, minus uh, op and here we have op prime so we can say uh, t we have seen it is 9 3 that is a translation is equals to op we write this in column form it is minus 4 uh, 2 that is op is equals to o that is not equals to but minus op so if we get op we'll be able to get uh, the coordinates of p uh, because op is a uh, we'll be able to get uh the, the, the because op uh, what do we call it column vector uh op means the vector from the origin so we say op is equals to we take it to the other side uh, then we have minus 4 and 2 uh, this becomes minus minus 9 and 3 like that which is equals to minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13 uh, and 2 minus 3 is minus 1 uh, since op is equals to this implies that the coordinates of p are minus 13 and uh, uh, minus 3 well, this is what we call position vector well, that's what i had forgotten position vector we have position vector when you are given the position vector then the, it would get the coordinates of that point then you write it in uh, horizontal manner or you write it you just revert it and in, it, you write it in horizontal manner and that is how you uh, do that so the important thing this is vectors one which you covered in form two uh, you are taught about uh, position vector column vector how and uh, uh, you also did uh, translation uh, so you should be able to combine that uh, and be able to come up with uh, uh, the, the answer to this question and that way you'll be able to score two marks there and one mark in part a